guys, it's Jolie. I'm here with Una, the St. Bernard. Yesterday we did inside drills. Today we're getting an early start before all the heat. Look at this position. And I have my tone to get her to close gaps. If she ignores the tone, I always have my stim to use. Now, I am holding on to the end of a long line. That's really important because if she makes a mistake, I have that extra layer of safety and I can guide her back to remedy the mistake. And then over time, we become more and more comfortable dropping the long line and then getting rid of it altogether. But we always instruct our clients to use the long line until they are 100% confident and there's no harm in letting a long line drag. This can help um, if the Una's owners were saying sometimes if she breaks a down stay and they correct her, she'll run back into the house instead of fixing the position. So the long line would help you tone recall her back and get her back into that position. See how that tone kind of speeds her up, gets her back into that heel position. We're gonna walk over to a shady spot and we're gonna practice some of her stationary commands and then practice some of her recall. So when I stop, she should go into a down. What a good girl. Stay. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So now we've got her in a down stay. And all that means is that she has to stay until I release her or I give her another command. Now, again, notice I've got the long line on because of her history of trying to hunker down somewhere, run away, flee, get out of the situation. If she tries to do that, I'm gonna tap my tone, I'm gonna recall her back, and I'm gonna put her back in the command. Very good girl. So the way that we strengthen these commands is by putting them in the command and then adding distance, adding distractions, and adding time, adding duration. One thing that I'm really impressed about is that we've got some workers down there that she sees right there. And Una has a history of growling at strangers, especially adults. And because I think of the structure that we've given her here, she no longer thinks that's an option. So it's interesting, you don't even have to address the, the obvious problem if you present her a lifestyle that makes her believe she doesn't have that option to growl. Hope that makes sense. Hey baby girl, hi. Hi, for a lot of dogs. This will get them to break command, but we don't want a dog who breaks command for baby talk because it means that they think everyone's there for them. You can't bring your dog out into public because they break command for people. Crouching down oftentimes presents this problem. Hey, baby girl, hi, Una. No, down. So that was an e-collar click and a no. I'm at a 25. And then always repeat the trigger. Hey, baby girl, hi. Oh, you're so sweet and cute. Good girl. And then I'll give her a pat on the head because she learned. Good girl. Let's practice her recall, which her owners actually say is really sharp. They can recall her using just the tone from anywhere and she comes running. But we wanna make sure during the tune-up, we clean it up to the point where she comes and sits or downs at our feet. So watch this. Una, come. Good girl. That's my baby girl. Down. Right at my feet. Good job, honey. Okay. Break. Good girl. Break. Let's go, baby. We're going to walk by the strangers. Now she's not in command, but you know she's putting herself into a heel, and that's fine. We've got some people working over here. Normally, her owner said this would be maybe an alert bark and some growling. It's just not happening. Good girl. Hi. Hi. 